recording, recording, Power Cube Instructionals with Tom, Jean, and Marchin. Tom, go ahead. do is scoot over to the other window, and uh, if you don't mind, let me do a screen share and yeah. I'll show you uh, what we had talked about with the uh, with the manifold connection of the uh, hydraulic reservoirs and also the, um, oh, hello, <clears throat> and also the exhaust mm -hmm. ports on the engines. Okay. Now, one thing I just w did want to comment on is that the connection manifold should go below the the structure otherwise you get a lot of oh yeah <laughs> otherwise you you've got you're going up halfway through the tank already before you have any fluid flow so you want to put it under the the bottom probably okay yeah. that's easy enough yeah um yeah the, the main thing we have to do is to make sure that we're not uh dragging because we wouldn't want it to drag it Cross any branches that would snag it and possibly tear it apart. Right, and that'll be above. So if it's a micro track, we we're good on that. So now we're showing a 200 horsepower system. <laughs> well, th this what I'm showing is two different setups. Okay. <clears throat> we're showing four cubes here and then four cubes here. Okay. This setup was the original one we had talked about before, where they were all uh, oriented the same. Mm -hmm. And and uh, let me orient swing it around this way and you can see the exhaust on here mm -hmm. I put little exhaust pipes I didn't put the whole engine and all that yeah. but you can see this exhaust pipe right here mm -hmm. it points down to the you know middle of the where the two engines join actually it points down to the uh, where the manifold will connect the, the, <coughs> yeah. the hydraulic reservoirs of course that'll be below uh, but at any rate, maybe that'll be a problem, maybe it won't, I don't know. But then I, I took, on the other one, I took these these two that are on the right, and I reversed them. And so that's what I have over here. Is that this, this exhaust is this way, and then on the other side, on this side, I have the exhaust of these two, again, point to the outside. So we mm -hmm. have all exhaust pointing outside. That'll be good. And so the the manifold to connect all the plumbing it had to be a little different instead of just uh, using two T connections I had to use an elbow on the, the far end an elbow on this end and then a four way a cross on this side mm -hmm. but so anyway it's all doable so so uh, in seeing this I mean you had asked about this that you were having I think you were having uh, you know maybe couldn't couldn't visualize what I was getting at but Mm -hmm. This is basically it. So, do you have a? Your, could you share your thoughts about that? Yeah. So, do you need the elbow? Because we can just run it below and just curve it. Wow, that that would be fine. <clears throat> I mean, it, if you don't need elbows on it, that's fine. Now, I think we probably it, yeah. we would need an elbow on this end over here, because if we don't, um, the the hose bar will stick out. Uh, somewhat from here and then the hose will have to stick out further and so um, what that would mean mm -hmm. is the hose would stick out beyond the, the, the power cube frame uh, and so anyway it would be subject to snagging or something mm -hmm. but uh, yeah actually this this right here could be an issue hmm because uh, if we have it below, see this. This is, uh, yeah, I don't know. But I'm thinking how to, how to route the hoses. Mm -hmm. um, um, right. Well, um, I think it would work. Just go below and then just curve them around. Let's see. Do we see it? Can you zoom in up to where you have the four-way cross? So you essentially have... Is there space there for the... Yeah, if you if you run that down... Because as I'm saying, if that's, that's already eight inches... It's a way... It's a bit up 
the hydraulic tank already. I mean, like halfway up, right? All right. So that's what I was saying. Well, so if we were to run it below, <clears throat> we could run the cross. Um, Yeah, if we did run it below, it would have to be really below the the lower frame of all the power cubes. <coughs> so it would be the lowest uh, the lowest thing on all the power cubes. Can so on a micro track, there's going to be eight inches of space below, is how it currently looks, and I'm working on a design. But I, I don't see a problem with what you're doing here. I don't see any issues. What about? But maybe. I mean, we can turn a. No, I think that's good. I think the elbow there is good. And then That'll I was be... thinking also that perhaps we could route it, say like this is the, the power cube itself, mm -hmm. but we could even route it um, just like even through here, just, uh, just put the hose right through the middle of the power cube right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that, very, that I mean... way it would rest, say, on top of the valve here. And uh, the the frame members would support it. Um, then we'd have to have like a some sort of a elbow connection thing here, kind of like a U-turn or something. Well, we just twisted the other way. Twist maybe for connectability. Why don't we twist it the other way? I mean, I th we have to take a look at the details here. But I mean, what if we twisted the other way? Then if you took take a look at a double stacking, it could be ready connection. But I guess you'd have to draw it out. So for double stacking, I could see it would be a direct connection. For quadruple stacking, you know, you just have to add the extra detail in there. Um, yeah. I think one of them can connect directly. You let's see, too. one of them right here, and then you come to the next one, and then it has to, in order to keep the tailpipes, well, I, yeah, I don't know. I, it, it could even be uh, opposing it, I guess. But, but when you go to four, then you need to have all the tailpipes pointing towards the outside. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, with, with two or four, just have it going to the outside, right? Oh, okay. Well, with two, I guess you're talking side by side and not one in front of the other. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Let's see. Can you draw those explicit cases? One, there's two. Two side by side. We want to use both. Two side by sides and two back to back. And then four. Uh, you'd have to, to get the detail on this. Can you maybe draw that as your tonight's exercise? Um, maybe, yeah, just do those explicitly so we're actually very sure about it because it will help us once we get to stacking in the summer. Um, in August. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can but take that's... these and I can I can do it quickly right now uh, because as long as I don't have to copy these things, as long as I can just take the ones that I have existing here and move okay. them around, then they won't be long at all. Okay. But uh, can we can we do something else? Can we go on to? Uh, I was gonna try. I do want to do the Powtoon cartoon. So can we maybe switch gears a little bit? Okay. And leave that for your your evening pleasure afterwards um, <laughs> <Good> for me <laughs> okay so let's let's actually write a s simple script for how we do this I think uh, let's just call out for a, a design sprint but for that to happen we need a nice instructional so so let's do um, in the let's see there's um, within a development spreadsheet do we have a a placeholder for that we don't really have a good that really that kind of level of work goes under team development and team it's really swarming um 
but let's put a placeholder for now so let's go info let's do an explainer video on build swarm explainer video so I'm gonna add like 23.5 what am I doing here okay we're gonna work on a video right now that's the main update we'll um, we'll capture that I'll, I'll quit the recording because it's gonna take us a bit of time and we'll have a final product we'll have a video out of this anyway so no, no need to do the process okay